Hey, hello, what's up, what's up everybody? Uh, welcome back to the Let's Build That App.com channel. I uh, hope you guys are doing well out there and I hope you're ready for today's video. Now, if you clicked into today's lesson, I'm gonna assume that you're probably interested in learning how to build out a fully functional chat application, right? And uh, in the next 10 to, let's say 10 to 15 videos, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to build out this application right here. Uh, hopefully you guys can see my screen okay. And basically we have two simulators of the uh, 13 Pro Max and also the 13 Pro on the right side. And this is a fully working chat application that uses SwiftUI, Firebase Auth, storage and also firestore to you know store the information such as text for our messages so before we you know dive into xcode and look at all the wonderful swift ui code uh, why don't i first give you a demo of this application here and uh, on the left side the pro max i am currently logged in as the char manner user here and on the right side, I'm logged in as Misty, right? And basically, I wanna show you guys how a message is sent and received from these two users. I'm gonna go and click on Misty right here. Remember, I'm logged in as the char manner user. So here is my Misty list of messages. So you see this wonderful chat log. And then similarly, I'm gonna click on the Charmander uh, user on the right side, and you'll see the exact same messages showing up here. So to test uh, whether or not this chat application works, I will be sending a message from Charmander, so Charmander on the left side. Simulator like so, and I click on the send here. Uh, the message will now be sent to Firestore, and once Firestore receives it, you'll see the message shows on the left side as well as the right side there. And again, because the uh, chat application is working with Firebase, uh, everything is working in real time. Okay, so pretty good stuff. Uh, next, why don't we test uh, messages from uh, Misty on the right side as well? You know, just to confirm things are working and things that do indeed uh, work correctly at the moment. Uh, the last feature I want to build out or to actually show you is the image sending feature. Uh, you'll see that once I click on, let's say this image right here, uh, that image is going to be sent to Firebase storage. And then once it gets saved, it appears on the right side as well as the right, uh, left side there. If I click on the back and go back to the Misty, uh, you'll see all of my messages are being persisted inside of Firebase. That's kind of why it's showing up there. So uh, pretty good stuff. And you know, this is just a typical chat application. I'm going to, I'm gonna assume that most of you guys know how a chat application works in 2021. Uh, another piece of functionality that you'll want to implement is the ability to maybe delete messages inside of this view here. Uh, if I click and perform a long press, you'll see I can delete, that message will go away. Uh, if I click on, let's say, new message here, I can click on another user, let's say crepe, and you'll see this show up there. Let's say test right here, test to send, and then that user will show up at the very top there. Uh, before we can actually get all of this you know, chat application working. Uh, the first thing we'll have to learn how to do is to actually log in or create an account inside of our app. Uh, in other words, why don't I show you how this works by clicking on the sign out there. And now I'm pretty much signed out of my app. Uh, if you want to create an application or create an account rather, you just click on the icon in the middle, fill out that stuff, and you should be good to go. Uh, if I go ahead and click on login, you'll see this screen instead. Uh, I'm gonna log in as an existing user called Pikachu. Uh, hopefully this works, I'll log in like so. And you'll see once I log in, all of the messages that belong to this user Pikachu 
it's going to show up inside of this main screen right here. Uh, this user has a lot more messages compared to the Charmander user. And you'll see the icon on the top left also updates to the current user. If I click on Misty right here, you'll see the messages look a little bit different. And you'll see Pikachu already exists on this screen on the right side simulator. And if I'm Pikachu on the left, and if I message right here, so new message for you, Misty, from uh, Pikachu. Uh, you'll see this message show up on the left side as well as the top right here. So in other words, Pikachu will move up to the first slot. Uh, confirming that works right here, you'll see the new message here. Uh, Pikachu gets moved up to the uh, top row. And again, this happens because Firestore is updating the database in real time. And we're listening for these changes uh, using Firebase snapshot listeners. Uh, clicking into this right here, uh, you'll see the message show right there, like what you would expect. All right, so that's pretty much the demo of our fully working application. Again, the first thing we'll be working on in this brand new series is to allow our users to actually create an account or maybe log into an existing user. So why don't we go ahead and get started by creating a new application instead of Xcode right now. Hey everyone, before I let you go for today's video, I just wanted to let you know that if you want to follow the rest of the lessons inside of the series, you can head on over to my website at letsbuildthatapp.com here. Uh, once you're on this website, you can check out all of the available courses right here. But more importantly, uh, the chat app series is available inside of this left block here. And what you want to do is to click on that. It'll navigate you onto the actual landing page for this series here. Uh, you can check out some of the screenshots available. Uh, but more importantly, down below, you can check out all of the available lessons as well. Uh, currently, the series I'm uploaded to, let's see, three lessons so far. I'll add more lessons as I get them ready and recorded. Uh, if you want to check out the next lesson in this series, it's going to be lesson number two. We are going to be creating a login page using Swift UI here. And uh, the rest of the videos will be available on the right side panel. Uh, after you're done watching this video, you can download the source code by clicking the download button here in the green. And then if you want to check out the written version of this tutorial, uh, all of the code is available here as well. So for example, for the login view, you can just copy all of this code and just put it inside of your Xcode editor. Uh, this way, the code is more accessible. You won't have to jump through the video to you know, sort of get an overview as to what the code is doing. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed today's lesson and hopefully I'll see you in lesson number two. Enjoy everyone.